Buddy, we're making another video. You ready? It's been a while. As they say, I shut it down, right? I shut it down a couple weeks before the contest. When in reality is, you just want the damn thing to be over with. You don't really want to talk to anybody. You can't sleep at night. The aches and pains. You can't get comfortable. You're peeing every 10 seconds. I don't know where the water's coming from. You're crying for no reason on the way to the gym because your hormones are freaked out, right? You're sleeping with your Beavis and Butthead dolls looking for comfort, but it's not working. We don't sleep with dolls. We're big, hardcore bodybuilders, right? We don't talk about that, right? I once read Lee Haney would sleep under his dining room table, losing it, right? Kevin Lavroni right now sleeping on the floor with a circle of weapons around him. You start losing your mind, right? But now that's over. I did the North Americans. It's been about two weeks now. I'd like to talk a little bit about the actual contest, a little bit about the cost, and also what I'm doing now as far as diet and training. And we got the Olympia coming up, everybody, so get excited about that. Now, the North Americans, the actual venue was at the hotel, which is quite nice. You go to your room, you come down, you're at the show, you don't have to leave. First walk in the hotel, you got to get past the stank and the stench of the painted, smelly, unshowered bodybuilder freakazoids, right? Some of them are sleeping on the floor of the lobby. One guy's sleeping by the elevators, physique guy. I go to my hotel room, I come back hours later, he's still sleeping there. Even though in the packet, when you check into the hotel, it says... No sleeping on the floors and the hallways of the hotel because they provided two lounge area rooms for all the competitors to hang out in. Read your packets, people! I'm not one to hobnob and diddy bop in the lobby with the other bodybuilders. I like to go to my room. I'm depleted of carbs and water, dehydrated. I like to go do my own thing, rest, you know what I mean? Get ready for the show. Now what I do, I don't, for four days I was depleted of carbs. I don't do any kind of carb load. I do the burger and the fries the night before. I know it's all the trend and the rage right now, but it works for me. I think if you're really lean and depleted, I don't do any kind of water. Drop water out. Eat the burger and fries. Urinate throughout the night. Get drier and fuller. Wake up in the morning time, I have another burger and fries I got at the hotel from the night before. I eat slowly within an hour time frame, get drier and harder. I do my tanning the morning of the show. Oh no! I don't do it days before because I find I get oily and it actually looks softer. So I take a shower actually the morning of the contest. Get up real early, shower, pose the water out, pat dry, put the tanner on. I think I look harder and drier that way. Could I have been a little darker? Maybe one more coat would have been a little better, right? I think it looked pretty good, though. Prejudging. Get to the show, right? Now it's the mind screw, right? You see a bunch of colossuses and hulks walking around, think I wasn't even in contention? You can't let it get to you. Sometimes you'll see the pictures of those guys, and they look like soggy, saggy sacks of potatoes in the pictures later, right? And don't even do good in the show. So I just lay down, rest until they call the class before mine, before I get up and start getting ready. And the stank backstage is bad too, right? You got all the sweaty, nasty competitors haven't showered and then they pull out their magic trick foods, right? Some of them are eating the burger and fries. Some of them are doing the cakes and pies. Some of them are sticking with the rice cakes. Let me ask you this. What the hell is a rice cake going to do at this point? You already had your pancakes with your eggs and your syrup. And your burger and fries the night before. What the frig is a rice cake going to do? I hear one guy call his coach and say, Coach, get ready to go on. Should I have the rice cake with the almond butter now? Or should I have my rice cake with the jelly now? If you're not ready at this point, a rice cake isn't going to do anything. <laughs> I don't know. 
But anyway, get ready for the show. Don't start pumping up until the very end. Sometimes they'll call your class to stand there forever, so wait so you're not depleted. We go out on stage, I'm on the damn end again. After prejudging, I still stay depleted of water, just eat normal food, don't gorge out, get tighter and drier. By the nighttime show, hours later, if you're not top five, you don't do your posing routine to your music. So we go out, we hit one pose, we go off the other side, end of the show. Didn't even know where I placed, wasn't told. I go out, watch the rest of the bodybuilders do their thing on stage, pay respects, finish out the show. I don't find out my placing until about 1.30 in the morning sitting on the toilet. NPCnews.com, I finally saw my pictures and my placing. Eighth place out of 20 in the super heavyweight class was ecstatic. Thought I wasn't even in contention. Very happy with how I looked. Because it's not where you're at. It's where you were and where you're at now. I made awesome improvements. A lot of people, I posted my pictures. A lot of people, some people made comments. You need a posing coach. All these things, your, your poses weren't right. Well, guess what? The poses are in motion. They were taken during a 30-second quick routine in the pre-judging. So all those shots, some of them I didn't even post because they weren't even close to a pose. I'm not in a full pose. Plus, I'm a national competitor, right? So that means I'm basically pro, right? So I am the coach, right? <laughs> and I am a contest prep coach now, too, because I'm a national competitor. Charge and triple, right? Okay. So then the show is over, right? Happy with the placings. Now what I do is I take a month off from training, no training at all, let my body heal. The first week I don't even eat on a diet plan, eat whatever I want, okay? After that, after that first week I eat my meals again, six to eight meals, healthy meals, let my body heal, rest up. The only thing I do is a little less protein because I'm not working out. Give my body a little break from that. After that month, I'm fired up, ready to go. Locked, stocked, and cocked, ready to hit it again, right? Make improvements. Got to hit it hard, right? That's what they said. I'm going to start hitting it hard. So that's what I do after the show. Now we got the Olympia coming up. Couldn't find one damn ad in any magazine for the Olympia. So I had to make my own ad, okay? The Jeff Wright White Hallway Productions printed one out. I don't understand why these magazines can't make an ad for the Olympia this year. A glue stick, a couple magic markers, there you go. I got most of the people on there. I think we even got Kai Green. He's sideways because nobody knows what the hell's going on in a pile of tears, okay? So get excited about the Olympia. Let's support the athletes. Enjoy the show. Everybody take care of themselves. Uh, I Also, I think my next contest, I might do the NPC Pittsburgh Championships again in May to requalify for a national show. I think that's the game plan. But as for right now, you got to keep on, keep on trucking. Take care.